organic chemistry is a nightmare to most of the students and that's why i am making this video so that you can overcome this fear of organic chemistry right but for that for this confusion to clarity first you need to understand what they ask you in the exam from organic chemistry so let's understand that if you see from goc firstly they ask you the questions of stability of intermediates right for that you firstly need to be very good in iupac naming you need to be very good in electron displacement effects like hyperconjugation resonance back bonding dancing resonance then inductive effect right all these aromaticity all these effects and the collective priority should be on your tips right and based on this they also ask acidity and basicity now after that you will see questions based on match the following reagent based questions right so for that all the reagents and their work should be on your tips then third kind of question is based on reagent they will ask you conversion based questions like a to b b to c then find the what is a what is b they can ask you the properties of a and b based on that they ask you the questions now even in je advance if you see multiple questions multiple conversions are asked right this is a question of je advance 2025 and multiple set of conversions were asked to you right that means reagent if you have it on your tips or conversions automatically you will be able to do right then you have from mole concept mixed questions that means where physical and organic is mixed together these kind of question may might look scary to you but actually they are simple only because very uh, easy part of mole concept is applied in between the reactions right then here also you have mole concept mixed questions that is asked to you right so these are the category of questions one more category is directly from the ncert lines right from that they will ask you statement based questions like these right this is the statement based questions and this is the statement based questions that they can ask you directly now to have a good hold over the type of questions i have shown you all the category types of questions that they ask you so you should be prepared for each category right for each category what should be your sequence of studying organic chemistry sequence matters a lot let's say someone out there who has backlogs in class 11th they are studying directly haloalkanes haloenes they will get lost there even if they are able to study the reaction part application of that reaction if there is carbocation formation then they don't know how to rearrange the carbocation they can't tell the rate of the reaction because they don't know the stability of the intermediates right they can't answer because they don't know the iupac naming right and sometimes isomerism is also applied there so for that the first task even if you're in class 12th or a dropper or in 11th first task is iupac naming and common names should be on your tips then go through goc isomerism in goc all the uh, electron displacement effect stability of intermediate rearrangement of carbocation ring expansion ring contraction tautomerism all these effects that we are going to apply in class 12th chemistry right now once you are done with all of this this will take a major part right because uh, this might seem just two things but it is actually in detail you have to go through this and if you ask me ma'am is ncrt enough for goc isomerism definitely not right you definitely have to uh, either watch some lecture right or purchase a good theory based book right only then you will have a good hold over goc and isomerism right then we have functional groups that means hydrocarbons haloalkanes haloenes aldehyde ketones alcohol phenols ethers all these chapters that you have in class 12 right now when you study these chapters right firstly you will study in depth with mechanisms right and you will have to see the highlight point of each mechanism like what is the intermediate in this mechanism is there is some kind of rearrangement that is happening in this kind of mechanism and there are some very famous mechanisms like Hoffman bromamide degradation uh, Gabriel phthalamide then there is dimetamer reaction right Fry's rearrangement pinacol pinacolone rearrangement so all these things should be on your tips right some things are also not there in ncrt so you definitely have to go beyond ncrt 
right but before that firstly ncrt should be on your tips and after that if you want to score good then you have to go a little beyond ncrt as well that is the harsh reality right now what should be the sequence right so firstly go through the lectures right that's my personal advice if you want to save your time and you want to utilize it in a positive way it's it's not like if you don't see watch the lectures you directly go through the theory part you won't be able to understand maybe right but better approach is firstly go through the lectures right uh, then after that from that lecture for example today i have taught you st uh, stability of intermediates go through ncrt for that topic read it out after that solve some questions of organic chemistry from that topic ms chohan is a very good book you can purchase tatva modules that is a very good book you can purchase Tej tejas modules very good book right from that you can easily easily solve so many examples more you practice more clarity of the concept will be there and after that periodic revision like after 15 days after a month do periodic revision with the help of mock test also right so once you are done with all of this then start making your short notes also right take a little diary right in which you are writing the naming reactions all the naming reactions from each chapter you are writing the concluding part like all the reagents what is their work once you're done you have done this naming reaction and important reagents that are not under any naming reactions but they are important reagents right once you have done that trust me no one can beat you in organic chemistry because reagents and naming reaction if they are on your tips and you have a good knowledge of GOC then definitely you'll be able to solve all the questions of organic chemistry but practice is definitely needed here right so for practice what you can go through uh, firstly for theory part you can follow ncrt then for beyond topics you can follow solomon's right or watch a good lecture on youtube right then for theory for practice firstly ncrt questions are a must right they're easy also some questions are also good level ncrt conversions right if you see they're very beautiful conversions given in ncrt go through them they are very important and that will sharpen your brain that will help you interact with organic chemistry more right then ms johan or tatv modules you can go through for this right for more practice because you need to go beyond ncrt as well after that if you're preparing for j advanced then go through ms johan j advanced book or you can go through peter sykes book okay so that is totally your choice this is a little high level right but definitely worth it right so that's totally choice uh, that ms johan is a simpler version so it will be easy for you to understand right now that's it about today guys and uh, if you see mv sat scholarship is there right it is going to happen on 4th 5th 11th and 12th and uh, what you're going to get here i'm so excited to tell you that if you are among 2.5 lakh students you will get 100 percent scholarship and 150 crore worth of scholarship, 2 crore worth of prizes, cash, right? That means you will get iPhone, iPads, right? Drones, all these things you will get for totally free of cost. All you need to do is get under rank that is 2.5. That's it. This is all you need to have. And is there any registration fees? No, there is absolutely zero registration fees here, right? So what are you waiting for? In the description box, you will have this MVSAT scholarship program registration link. Click on that, right? And before going, one very important thing for all of you that guys, I am thinking that to start a practice session, right? I am thinking to start practice sessions for organic chemistry, right? Like I have done GOC till now. We are like, we'll be able to complete GOC uh, in a week. I, what I want is after completing GOC isomerism, I should take a lecture which is purely practice based so that you can do all the practice of these questions. The questions will be from the Tatva modules, right? So the questions that I'm going to pick is from Tatva modules. We are going to solve some really important previous year questions as well as questions related to PYQs 
every chapter after the ending of every chapter i will take one session which is dedicated to that particular chapter and do let me know in the chat box in the comment section if you want that and if you want that write it down in the comment section hashtag hashtag tatva write it down hashtag tatva in the comment section and then i'll definitely take your practice session which is the name will be organic decode and will take around 20 to 30 questions in each session right they will be j j means also j advance also pyqs also non pyqs also mixed questions i'll take right so if you want that write it down in the comment section hashtag tatva in the comment section till then bye bye take care